or I just have less of a chance. Yeah, see, I just lost him again. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just trying to reel the damn thing in. Oh, is he going to hit it again? Or do I have to recast it? We could do this. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I am Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we're going to start off by uh, working on our road a little bit here. I've already uh, done more work on it. Um, and I thought I'd show a little bit of that on camera, but not too much because, you know, it's not super exciting. <laughs> so we'll do that. Um, we also have quite a few carrots in the garden, so we're going to harvest those and start making some of the really good food uh, that we can do so with carrots. And... Um, then I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to go scope out this elder uh, location and see if it's a little bit better layout than the one that we found, um, uh, you know, up here. I didn't like this one because one side of it had a hillside that um, was not uh, not very conducive to fighting. Also, um, let's let's redo this because. Draugr is spelled D-R-A-U-G-R. There, that way it's spelled correctly. Okay, so yeah, I've got my cart with me, as you can see here, and I just, when I get full stacks of wood and stone, I, I put that in the cart. And we're basically, the plan here is uh, to just kind of cut a road more or less through the center of this Black Forest area. Um, as you can see too, I, I pretty much uncovered the entire area. Um, this is this is coastline all the way up through here, and um, I found a lot of carrot seeds. I, I was interested in those, and of course, you know, we got tons of copper in here, tons of blueberries, uh, several more tombs to do. So there's still a lot of resources to pull out of this area. So I figured, out oh, what the hell? Let's build a road. Plus, it's kind of fun to build roads in this game, anyway. All right, so let's uh, grab our hoe here, and we're just going to keep pretty much heading in this direction. And cutting through here. Uh, the other nice thing about building roads in the game is that you get a lot of resources too. So let's go about that far and then what we'll do is I think we can probably leave that stone there but we have to clear some timber out of the way so let's do that now. Oh shoot, our axe broke. All right, well, I guess that's our sign to head on back. Um, I do want to uh, cut up through here though. And when you are on a hill like this, what you want to do is it's going to be a little bit harder to show you this without my axe, but you want to kind of be on the side and go back and forth laterally because that way you can get it a little more of, of a gradual, um, you know, incline. The, you know, the other thing we could do actually is we could maybe cut the road through here so we're not going all the way up that hill because that is going to be a pretty steep climb getting up there yeah maybe maybe I'll do that instead I mean we can we can definitely make this work it's just going to be real steep coming up in through here I'd like the road to stay, you know, relatively straight, though. Is that, that's the reason why I wouldn't necessarily do that. Let's just play with this a little bit more here. Alright, that might need some picking. 
Yeah, they, having all this brush in the way, it's kind of a pain in the ass because I can't see real well what I'm doing here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and head back anyway because I really need my axe and it's all, it's broken. Um, or, I guess what we could do is... Could we get a crafting bench underneath there and have it considered covered? Station is too exposed. Oh, you know what? Th this doesn't matter anyways because we need, a, we need a forge to repair that, not a workbench anyway. And I don't have the materials for that. Okay, well, let's head on back to the ranch then. It's a lovely day here in Valheim. I think we're far enough away from the base by now that it would probably would behoove us to bring the materials to set up a forge uh, for repairing. So maybe we'll do that later. Here, let's let's grab these resources. All right, I've got my road cutting right through my garden, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna change that too because. I don't want my road cutting right through my garden. Hello. Or we, I, I guess maybe we could make a bridge or something. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, let's make sure we have a full stack of wood in our inventory. And we'll load these guys back up. All right, I've started a couple of stone piles over here. Miscellaneous stone. Um, kind of running out of room over here, though. Let's see if we can throw a couple back that way. We're short three. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm out of range of my my bench. I'm just going to put it there for now, then. Uh, we also could do some wood piles. I don't want to do anything down here, because we need to do some more work in that area. I'm kind of heavy at the moment. Well, actually, let's not worry about wood piles until the wood chest itself is completely filled up. Because I'm, I use it so often, you know. All right, we'll grab that, and we've got a pretty good quantity of copper at this point. Um, and we have a lot more bronze that we need to make for upgrades. Mostly, I've got all. I think I pretty much have all the tools, but we still have upgrades that we need to do. I. Uh, also, I moved, I moved this beehive, but I had it in the corner, and it wasn't producing very well because I think it was too close to the house. So we moved that over. Um, does it have honey in it? Yeah, see, now it has four. Before, it was only doing two, or one or two. Nice. So we're starting to accumulate honey. We need to make the fermenter. And that is also on the to-do list. And in fact, probably something we should try and do today. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we have one, two, three, uh, over three full stacks of copper, plus a little bit more ore that we still need to do up there. And honey, I have 20. 20 honey. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Let's uh, grab our cultivator. And I've got quite a few thistles at the moment. We could do another patch of uh, red mushrooms. If I put my circlet on, is that going to provide enough light to make a significant difference? Let's find out.
Oh, that doesn't take the belt slot, it takes the head slot. Oh, right, that would make sense. Okay. Yeah, that helps a little bit. I mean, it's not a ton, but it's better than not having anything at all. Okay, so we got mushrooms over here. Let's go ahead and pick these first. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the dandelions. I actually... Well, all right, I started it. I don't think I'll pick any more thistle after this for now until we start using a bunch of it up. We've got a bunch of yellow mushrooms from all the dungeon crawling that we've been doing, so that's good. We're going to need these for stamina potions. Uh, okay, so... Do I need to pick blueberries? How many blueberries do we currently have? We only have three. Yeah, let's pick blueberries as well. Oh, jeez. I picked a whole bunch of them all at once. That was kind of weird. Um, how about raspberries? Do we need to pick those? We have... Yeah, we could stand to pick those too. I thought I had more than that, but apparently not. Oh, you know what? It's nighttime. Is somebody else on the server? Yeah, Largoth is on. Okay. Well, let's get these picked. Now the light actually is definitely coming in handy. <laughs> it does let you move through these these bunches. It, it just it's just really slow going, which does make sense. That's kind of cool. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to pick all of these carrots and we're going to use half of them to make food. The other half we will use to replant more carrots. But carrots do not stay in the ground to regrow like the what you might call the wild plants do. Um, and it's probably just ha has something to do with the way the game and mechanics work. There's probably nothing in the code for carrots to respawn as carrots but I'm guessing that if we plant this carrot seeds that that will happen um maybe I don't know we'll have to see I, I haven't gotten that far with it yet to, to know exactly how that's gonna work okay so we have a total of 44 carrots we're gonna split that in half and put half of them in there we have to Actually, be careful, though, that the game doesn't pull from the chests. So, I think it's going to want us to plant four. Oh, there's Largatha. Right there. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> oh, how do you do emotes? I don't know how to do emotes. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to figure that out later. Okay, yeah, so we just need to make sure that we don't let the carrots, or, or the game rather, pull the carrots out of our bin. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We need to carrot seeds. And does this, is it, oh, is this just a one? No, it's a four. Okay, yeah, it's a four thing. Okay, so... Let's just do, say, five patches of these. Because that'll be 20. I'm curious, though. Oh, okay, so no, it's, it's not pulling from the bin. I'm curious how... Uh, this is going to work. So are these going to come up as seeds that I can then repick like these? Like, are they renewable or not? So we'll have to we'll have to wait and see what happens when that grows. So that gives us then a total of twenty four carrots. Okay, twenty four carrot. How about if we plant one more patch of them? Let's do that. Okay. 
And like I said, we'll see how that uh, behaves when the time comes. Right, let's load you guys back up with coal. And I have a little bit more copper ore that I want to finish smelting here. And yeah, we got a nice collection of copper in here. Uh, we'll put you in there. Okay, that's it. All right, let's make some food. Let's make some good food. Um, well, hold on. Before we make some good food, what do we need to make the uh, this guy? We need bronze and fine wood and resin. Okay, yeah, let's get that made because I want to get it made. In fact, I don't know I don't know that there's anything else that I can think of off the top of my head that we need pure copper for. So I think I'm going to just turn everything that I have into bronze for now. I'm going to have to go on another tin run as well. Okay, so. Let's put the fermenter... Let's see. We're going to need to leave this space for more upgrades for the forge. Um... So yeah, let's maybe make the cooking area over in this corner. Um, this is my trader thing. Uh, I am going to put some lofts in here and do something different with the portals later. So why don't we pick this up? Uh, what is that? Hold on. What is this called? That's OG trader. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't fuck that up. Let's just reset that over here for now. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, we'll have this corner kind of be our kitchen area and um, yeah so let's set up our first uh, where is it crafting oh fine oh we need 30 fine wood oh only have 24 so okay all right let me run just run out and cut a couple birch trees I'll be right back All right, we got everything we need to create our first fermenter. Uh, let's put that right in the corner about there-ish. Don't have any processable items. So how am I supposed to remember what the damn recipes are? <laughs> um, hmm. I'm surprised that doesn't show us the recipes. They... Where do I find that shit? Oh, actually... Right, I, I gotta make them in here. That's right. And then I put... I, I make them here and then I put them in the fermenter to ferment. That's how that works. Okay. It's been a while, right? Um, so, let's see. What does Tasty do? Tasty is... Gives us stamina regen at the cost of health regen. Okay. Um, minor stamina. Regenerate stamina fast. Is that regeneration though or just cap? Minor healing. Health over time. That's probably stamina over time then too, I'm thinking. So if you took... Oh wow, that takes 10 honey. If you took this and also took one of these, this should counter counter this, I think. Minor stamina, minor healing. 
Wow, these are expensive in terms of honey. All right, before we make any of those... You know what? I think I want to... I think I want to move this back just a little bit. Because I have to really get up in there to... Uh, to access it. Move it back to right about here. There, that's better. Okay. All right, well, I want to make some deer stew and some carrot soup. So carrot soup requires carrots and mushrooms. Deer stew requires blueberries. That requires five blueberries. Um, and that requires five blueberries and dandelions and strawberries. I don't remember how many of these we get. I know we get... I'm pretty sure we get more than one in a batch. All right, let's... Let's craft this. And then we stick it in here. And we wait for it to ferment, which takes a long time. Uh, relatively speaking. Okay, now... I want to also make tasty. That will still leave us five blueberries left after we make it. And we only need one per stew. Um, we don't need raspberries for carrot soup or deer stew. Okay, so let's make this now. I know I can't ferment it yet, but I want to make it now. Uh, well, actually, do I have enough stuff to make two fermenters? Maybe that might not be a bad idea. Yeah, why don't we do that? Um, I, I just, I need two more hardwood. Uh, did I put any in here? I did. Well, I think it's counting that, though. Alright, let me go get just a little bit more hardwood. I want to always carry 20 with me, too, so I can set up a portal wherever I'm at. But I'm also, you know, I also don't want to cut down all of the birch trees in the area either. I want to leave some of them because they look nice. So let's get a little further out from the base. Or if we could find an oak tree in the meadows, that would work too. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, went out and got a whole mess of stuff. Uh, let's get this other fermenter set up. And we'll put it right about there. Should be good. And we'll put that stuff in. Okay, good. So we got two of those going. Um, let me put a, a few things away here. All right. Let's go ahead and make some food we need oh we need cooked deer meat to make the deer stew interesting okay um carrot soup that takes three carrots this only takes one carrot so let's make five of these since we have five blueberries so first we gotta cook uh five deer meat All right, let's make five deer stew. 45 health, 15 stamina, three HP per tick. And delicious. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna skip the minced meat. Um, okay, well, th this gives 13 stamina, 40 health, and three per tick. 
I think... Well, here, let's... That's pretty damn good health, actually, if you think about it. Um, but this is the this is the stamina king because the jam only gives forty. Uh, you know, a stamina king for what we can currently make, I should say. Um, so yeah, let's just make these. Okay, so that gives us five stew, and then. What I'll probably do is I'll have... I, I have five jam here if I want more of a stamina boost. But I'll, I'll probably also... Um, the boar jerky kind of sucks. I mean, it, it's kind of middle of the road food, I guess you would say. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So I'll, I'll probably also have a batch of this if I want to have a little more health and than stamina, because this stuff's pretty damn good too. But obviously, you will have to wait until we get some more carrots. Very nice. Okay, that's always a nice little milestone to pass in the game. Uh, in order to make, you know, uh, start making the, the better food, because we've been using real basic shitty food pretty much from the start, right? Um, so... It's the minor stamina that needs the yellow mushrooms. Yeah, so I'll probably make some of those, too. And we'll probably make some poison resist as well, just because when we get into the swamp, um, that's going to be... Yeah, I, I think I think there's stuff that poisons us in the swamp. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, so it'll be useful, you know, when we go there. And then, of course, we're going to want to make... These are basically our health potions, so we're going to want to make a bunch of those. But, man, I'd like to find some more bees, because those things take a lot of honey to make. And I want to say we get we get three potions per batch, maybe. Could be wrong about that. Maybe it's four, maybe it's two, I don't know. But anyway, look at that. All right, we got some fantastic food. Okay, so what we're going to do now is let's put these mushrooms away. Um, or we could even plant some more, I suppose. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? Um... We can't plant any more... We could do some more red mushrooms, too. Okay. I mean, we might as well fill up the garden space. I guess what I could do here... I mean, I guess we could just have the road end here. <laughs> uh, or I could try and, you know, build something that goes up and around this way. Or we could build maybe even a bridge. I don't know. I, I'm not, you know, this isn't like a, re a really well thought out layout. Just because this is not, I, I'm not planning on this being my permanent base. I do have a lot of unused space over here too. I should probably pick up, I'm not going to do this right now, but I should probably pick up all these stones and just move them over to the other side of the building. That's definitely an off camera thing. Uh, do you guys have more honey for us, by the way? You have two, and you have two. Okay. Yeah, let's just let them let him build up. All right, we'll put those in there. All right, we were going to plant some more mushrooms. That's what we were going to do. So let's do another batch of yellow. Stuff is not, like, super nice and neat and lined up either, so that's another thing. Um, but again, I'll, I'll worry more about that sort of thing when we set up whatever our, wherever our permanent base ends up being. Okay, so those will be ready in 45 minutes. And again, I'm just curious to see if we're going to just pick these straight up or if they'll last. They'll be renewable. My guess is we'll pick them straight up. Uh, they're going to behave more like, you know, they they do naturally speaking and red mushrooms we're gonna plant some more red mushrooms let's put some there and some there I 
give us enough to do another batch? No, it doesn't. Okay. So we'll grab these raspberries. Put our cultivator away. We don't need to carry that around with us. And we'll put mushrooms in here. And the raspberries can put in here. Okay, good. Um, let's go ahead and... I think I'm going to just keep the light on my head unless we're... Unless we get into a major combat situation like, you know, fighting a troll or something worse. Um, just because it's so nice to have that light there. Let's make some more uh, fire arrows. I'd like to always have a stack of those on hand. Okay. Uh, we got stuff to make. A portal if we need to. This is OG home, so we can just connect to that whenever. Do I have anything to sell to the trader? I do have a few things. Let's just go see if we can make enough money to buy a fishing rod. We'll run over there real quick. Alright, any bad bads around? You know, I was thinking too, I should probably I should probably move my workbench up here. Do I have anything in here? I don't. Okay. I'm going to actually leave that chest there. Let's just go cut uh, five pieces of... Uh, I'm sorry, ten pieces of normal wood, and I want to rebuild that. If I take it down, does that... Uh, I'll bet you that disables the portal. Let's find out. Because that'll actually give me all the wood I need to rebuild it. Hmm. It still seems to be active. Okay. Well, let's just put this up here anyway. Um, so that way it's there if we need it for anything. Maybe this too. I know those little fuckers will come along and break all this shit, so that's why I want it to be up high here. I've seen him do it. Let's see, furniture. There. Ouch. Okay, that gives us enough to buy a rod. Nice. And we have enough left over to buy some fishing bait, too. Mossy fishing bait, huh? Let's just spend all the rest of it on bait. Whoops, wrong button. Mossy fishing bait. I'll have to figure out what that's for. Um... Yep, so there goes all our money. <laughs> but hey, we got ourselves a fishing rod now, too, so we can add fish to our diet, which is a good thing. Indeed, it is. Okay, this will be our official fishing chest. Um, let's grab some bait. And we're going to go do a little bit of fishing before we set out. I will make a... Uh, I'm going to make an, a dock out here and a ship. In fact, um, maybe we ought to make our ship now and then we can sail over to the Elder because that is, that's definitely going to be on another island. Okay, we have some fish down here. I see them. We're going to remember how to do this. So we get the fishing rod out. Do we just right click on this? Uh, it, uh, okay, it shows that it's active, so do I just... Oh yeah, we used it, okay. 
Now, I don't remember if I left click or right click to bring this back in, so does it tell us? Cast. Oh, pull is mouse two. Cast is. Okay, yeah, so mouse two. Oh, this is fun. Oh, shit! I lost a catch? That's bullshit! Okay. <laughs> I lost it. Okay. There we go. Reel him in. What the hell? You lost catch. Bullshit. Am I supposed to, like... Oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to work the line. Okay, give me a break, you guys. It's been a long time since I've done this. Got it. Okay, work the line. No, he's he's doing that on his own. There we go. Okay. So I just I think I just hold it down, and it's probably just a little bit of RNG. It's like a nice big salmon. Oh, damn it, Jim. Is fishing a skill? Uh, it is. Okay, that's why I'm losing him. That, okay. Now I understand. We just gotta get better. We gotta get good. Okay, come here, dude. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> damn it, Jim. Okay, we got him hooked. Did I get him? I did. Nice. I want to see if I can catch the salmon. Okay, come here. Hmm. Maybe a salmon's just a too high a level of a fish for me to catch at this point. I gotta catch a bunch of perch first to get my skill up. Perhaps. Or I just have less of a chance. Yeah, see, I just lost him again. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just trying to reel the damn thing in. Oh, is he gonna hit it again? Or do I have to recast it? We could do this. I don't think that worked. Lost catch. Hmm, I don't know what else I can do. I have a feeling like I'm maybe not doing something right. Oh, I'm out of fishing bait? Okay, well, whatever. Uh, did we get any skill? Yeah, we got six points. Okay. Stamina drain and pull speed when fishing. Stamina drain. Oh, am I running out of stamina? <laughs> I'll bet you that's what's happening. Oh, all right. Well, let's um, let's go ahead and eat our food for the very first time, our good food, and that'll give us a shit ton of stamina. That was not apparent to me, obviously, right? That was not obvious to, to me, apparently. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, yeah, we need more fishing bait. I do like to go fishing in real life, too. I used to try and get out a couple times a year here in Colorado where I live. So, yeah, this is fun. Okay, let's try this again. Now we have lots of stamina. I just didn't realize it was using stamina. That's, wait. Oh, that's a perch. Pike and a perch. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I was thinking that was a salmon. I wonder if we have to be, like, in a different biome to get salmon. I don't remember. Caught pike and flint. Okay. If you say so. 
This one's really fighting me. Can I get him up on shore? <laughs> there we go. Oh, no! Oh, you bastard! <laughs> He's... <laughs> no. <laughs> that was axe, man. That was total axe. Come here. Got him. Okay, that's good enough for now. Uh, we'll have more fun with that later, of course. Does the fishing pole have durability? It does not appear to. That's good. Okay, let's put the this back in here. Now, what I want to do is I want to see... Mossy fishing bait. Dead trolls in the forest often attract a fish or two. Speed up the process with this bait. 50 knockback. What does that mean? I don't know what knockback means in regards to fishing. So I guess it doesn't matter if... requires only one of the shown here. I guess it doesn't matter what kind of fish it is in terms of just making the food. But, do we come across later on recipes, better recipes that involve fish? I think we do, but I can't remember for sure. I'm curious, let's just, let's just make some of that. I don't know what that means, 50 knockback. Anyway, this stuff gives us... All oh, right, we got now we have to cook it. I keep forgetting about that. That's kind of weird. Why would we boil it first and then have to cook it? I I don't get it. <laughs> um I just want to see what uh, what we get from the fish cuz I can't remember. I think it's pretty decent. All right, so cooked fish gives us Oh, damn, 45 health. That's actually really good. Um, That's the same health as deer stew. And it's the same stamina, too. The deer stew, however, gives us 3 HP per tick. This only gives 2. But still, that's, that's really, really good. I like it. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll um, we'll use that a after we use up the deer stew. We'll we'll use that. Now I just want to I, I just want to try out this mossy bait for a second because I don't quite understand what kickback means in relation to this. It says dead. Tr it says speed up the process, so uh, does that mean they strike faster or I reel it in faster? Let's find out. I might have fished this area out. No, there's a fish there. I see him. Here, let's uh, cast over by him. Hmm doesn't seem to cause them to want to strike faster or it could just be because I'm a little far away from it maybe I see a big old lunker swimming around over there he doesn't seem to give a shit about my mossy bait though come on dude I worked hard for that troll head is it is it too dark to fish? Maybe that's what the issue is. I mean, it's not taking the bait. I'm guessing that it's too dark to fish. Whoops. Because, um, there's obviously fish there, and they even bump bumped it. So that's probably what the deal is. Okay. At least we didn't lose our bait. It's not technically nighttime yet, though, right? And even if it was, is Largatha still on? No. 
Okay. Did it just now turn night? Ah, yes it did. Okay. That's already in 11 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to build a little dock here cuz we really should have that in place before we build the ships cuz it could otherwise drift off, I think. Can't it or can it? Wait, don't the ships automatically anchor in this game? I don't know. We'll build a dock. We'll build a dock, dock anyways cuz we need to. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll build the ship and then the plan will be to head over to the elder here and uh scope that out and if i like this location better than this location we'll set up a portal there and then start gearing up uh, to take that dude out so with that being said thank you everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next one Bye bye